So usually today I do the news of the week video because it is Wednesday after all, but I am going to save that for tomorrow because tomorrow is actually the deadline of the secondary trans window around MLS and I want to wait to do the news of the week video tomorrow in case if there is some last minute juicy deal that is happening before the deadline of the MLS secondary trans window. But rather, during the news of the week, I am actually going to talk about playoff scenario. Now, I kind of talked a little bit about playoff scenario back in my preview on Monday. But this video will give you a little bit of a clear vision in terms of who could potentially make it get and clinch their playoff spot. And who is actually up for elimination. And it's a shame the fact that I didn't do this video yesterday because we already had two games that has already happened. And those two games definitely had some playoff factor and have already determined who actually have already clinched the playoffs and who actually is able to sl stay alive in terms of not going to be up for elimination this week but coming into this week we actually had eight teams that could be clinching the playoffs and three of them that could be eliminated uh we already had two teams that has officially clinched the playoff because of those two resources uh the seattle sounders of course they were winners yesterday against the vancouver whitecaps which means they have now officially clinched the playoff and become the first team in the western conference to do so and also that win also mean that they're now back at the top of the western conference whereas for nycfc they also clinched their playoff spot after montreal of course lost to nashville yesterday so certainly congratulations to those two teams in terms of making the playoffs but now let's talk about clinching scenario in terms of these six other teams because tonight's resort there is definitely a lot of games that could really de determine how these six teams can clinch the playoffs we start off with LAFC well they can clinch the playoffs if they can of course win against the Houston Dynamo and that they already know that the White Whitecaps already lost to the Seattle Sounders but they're also hoping their their intercity rival LA Galaxy can lose to the portland timbers and therefore they of course may, will make the playoffs i mean there's a lot that has to go right for lafc but already one of the thing that kind of gone right for them so you know if they can get the other two right they have of course officially clinched the playoff spot for this season now for nashville sc and the reason why i'm wearing a nashville sc t-shirt is that i've been talking about how how close they are in terms of clinching a playoff position and obviously that one nothing win against Montreal last night is a huge 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 moment for for them now inching even closer in terms of clinching the playoff spot and only become the sixth expansion team to ever make it to the playoffs in their expansion season well they actually could clinch the playoffs as soon as today although there is still a lot that has to kind of go right for them uh, they obviously already won against Montreal, but they're also going to have to hope that Miami, of course, will, will be able to lose to Dallas. And Atlanta, of course, would, would have to lose or tie versus Orlando City. So something tells me Nashville fans will be Dallas and Orlando City fans tonight as they're really hoping that they, they of course, could, of course, lose, lose or tie in the case of of the Atlanta versus Orlando City Resort, but either way, what a season this has been for Nashville SC, and that if they don't clinch it this week, I have a feeling they might might clinch it next week, and that it's not only just a historical moment for Na Nashville making the playoffs and only becoming just the sixth team to make it to the playoffs as an expansion team, but but also the the fact that this is something that we rarely see happen, and I've been mentioning before, what a job this team and what a job that Gary Smith have done with this team exceed all the expectation and kind of proving a lot of doubt or including myself that seeing that this team was not going to make the playoffs and look where they are right now now moving on in terms of New England well there's actually three ways that New England of course could able to get themselves into the playoffs the first way the most simple way is that they need to win against the Red Bulls and they of course will be able to get to the playoffs now the second way is that if they tie with the red bulls they of course will have to hope that montreal would be would lose to nashville which actually it's not really a hope because montreal have already lost to nashville so in some sense if 
New England are able to get a resort, and as long as they don't lose this game against the Red Bulls, they basically punch their ticket into the playoffs. But in case if they do lose to the Red Bulls, they will also have to hope that Miami would lose or tie against FC C Dallas as another way to make the playoffs. But obviously, the most simplest way for the Rams is that if they get, can get a resort against the Red Bulls on the road, which the road form, as I said many times from the Rams, has been their best friend and is the reason why they're in this spot right now on the verge of clinching a playoff position yeah you know all they need is to get a draw or a win and they're in to the playoffs this season now speaking of the red bulls they are also on verge of clinching a playoff position although their scenarios is, is a little bit more difficult uh they first need to win against New England and hope that Miami can either lose or tie against FC Dallas in a way that they can, of course, clinch their playoff position and making the playoffs for the 10 consecutive year in a row. I mean, I don't think a lot of people thought that th that this season, especially how much turmoil that the Red Bulls have been facing this year, that they're now on the verge of potentially clinch the, the playoffs. And you, you just got to give a lot of credit to this Red Bulls organization and despite the fact that this looks like it is kind of a transitional year with the Red Bulls with them recently just firing Chris Armas and now having Brett Lee Carnell being an interim head coach and soon going to have Garrett Schubert as their their new head coach it would be very interesting to see see how this team will do but also the fact that they've been able to balance that despite going through such a term ter uh, very kind of turmoil kind of time that they're in you know it just gives a lot of credit to how how this Red Bull organization it is in right now now moving on from the Red Bulls now kind of talk about Western Conference playoff scenario now this is where it gets tricky because we still don't know if the Western Conference are they going to go with a points per game game ratio or are we just going to to go with kind of the point system where the team with the highest amount of points will of course make it to the playoffs and obviously if you've been living under a rock or the fact that you haven't been following MLS recently well the reason why I mentioned the points per game ratio is because the Colorado Rapids have it have not been playing their MLS game for pretty much over a month until last last week and that there is a case where they are going to play much fewer games than everyone else is going to play and this is where we get to a point where we ha might have to use points per game to really decide who actually will make the playoffs and who of course will just miss out on the red line so this does get a little bit tricky and when i look at the league website when they create this p playoff scenario i don't know if if these scenarios are depending on the fact that points per game is not a factor or the fact that points per game is a factor and they kind of consider that but going back to talking about this and talk about about the western conference playoff scenario well we already know seattle has already clinched their position of making the playoffs and their cascadia rival the portland timbers could be the next one to clinch their playoff spot as soon as today as they actually have three scenarios to do it the simplest scenario is that they all they need is a win against the galaxy if they can beat the galaxy they're into the playoffs now the second scenario is that in case if they tie against the galaxy well they're going to have to hope that vancouver lose or tie versus the seattle sounders which again that all obviously had happened then yesterday and they're kind of also in the same scenario as what the new england revolution is in where all they really need to do is ba basically win or or draw their game and they're into the playoffs however there is a third scenario and this third scenario is something to consider because even if they do tie versus the galaxy and that you know you would think that they of course would have made the playoffs well there's another thing that they have to also kind of rely on and that is they hope hope that the rsl versus san jose earthquakes resort would end in a draw and if that's the case then yeah they of course will make the playoffs even if they don't win in this game against the la galaxy now for sporting kc they they have actually four scenario in terms of how to clinch the playoffs but obviously the simplest scenario for sporting kc is that all they need is a win or a draw against fc cincinnati and they're basically into the playoffs now the second scenario is that if if vancouver lose or tie versus seattle or or well and rsl lose or tie against 
the San Jose Earthquakes. They, of course, will also make it to the playoffs. And that that's kind of a scenario if, of in case if they took a shocking loss against FC Cincinnati. That could also be a scenario of them punching their way into the playoffs. Now, the third scenario is that if Vancouver lose or tie versus Seattle and and the Galaxy lose or tie against the Portland Timbers, they also clinch their spot into the playoffs. And the fourth way is that if RSL lose or tie versus the Quakes and the Galaxy lose or tie against the Portland Timbers, they themselves also would get the, themselves into the playoffs. And that FC Cincinnati versus Sporting KC Resort doesn't really matter in the end. Now, as I mentioned, Seattle has already clinched their playoff position with a win versus Vancouver. And NYCFC, of course, have clinched their playoff position after Montreal lose to Nashville. But now let's go into the elimination part. And by the way, I am going to do these kind of video pretty much every single single time when there is actually games that is going to happen. Because I want to follow closely in terms of each team playoff scenario. And there could be a situation where I might have to kind of do two separate video because there could be a case where this board will be filled up in terms of who actually have a chance to clinch a position in the playoffs and who actually is on the brinks of elimination. Well, we actually had three teams that were on the brink of elimination in this game, but fortunately for two of those three teams, they can relax at least for another another match week because after Montreal, of course, lose to Nashville and Vancouver lose to the Seattle Sounders, DC United and Houston Dynamo are no longer up in the chopping block in terms of becoming the first team to be eliminated this this season. And if you ask me, of those two teams that I think could be staying alive in terms of the playoff race and staying alive, alive despite the fact that they're on the brinks of elimination, it has to be DC United, isn't it? I mean, they have been red hot lately and they're definitely making a very late playoff push right now. Whereas the Dynamo, yeah, they look like they are just completely lost right now and they look like they're just staring down the barrel of elimination in any gi given day but fortunately they're not going to be eliminated today they but there is one team that is going to be up for elimination and unsurprisingly that is fc cincinnati i mean i said back in the preview that they were definitely up for elimination in in this week's action and the way that they of course will be the first team to eliminate well there's actually two ways that they can can get themselves eliminated uh, the first way is that if they lose or tie against Sporting KC and Miami is able to win against FC Dallas, then yeah, they are officially become the first team to eliminate it from the playoffs. Whereas the second way to do it is that if they once again lose or tie against SKC and that Chicago is able to win against the Union, then yeah, they also will become the first team to be eliminated. But obviously, I know a lot of FC Cincinnati fans would say that even if they're not going to get eliminated this week they're probably gonna be eliminated during the weekend's action and that you know if i i want to kind of put my bet in terms of who's gonna get eliminated first i have a feeling most likely it's gonna be fc cincinnati and that i'm pretty sure their fans will want the team to get eliminated to kind of just put out the misery and terms of once again have to deal with such an awful season like they did in their inaugural season in mls but there you have it that is pretty much it for my video talking about the the playoff scenario and again in the future future match week i'll also kind of do something sim similar to that although i might have to do two separate video because the board can really fill filled up in terms of who can clinch and who can of course will be eliminated from the playoffs but until then hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash the subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time